best diet plan, I think, is just general healthy living. Um, there's lots of fad diets that um, people participate in or do, um, and they, they work for a limited amount of time. Yes, I do have a healthy diet because, as I said, I'm a diabetic and I have to have a healthy diet. So I have Crohn's disease, okay. so I, you know, there's certain things I can't have in my diet. I can't have any green vegetables. Do I have a healthy diet? Mm, sometimes. Sometimes not, just depends. Try and keep the cholesterol under control. Uh, I tend to eat loads of fruit and veg, don't eat that many takeaways. In fact, New Year's resolution is no takeaways. So far I've managed to do that. So I tend to eat fairly well anyway, it's not like I have to cut out loads of chocolate and stuff. I do have a healthy diet and I don't really tend to eat any fast food. I don't necessarily think I have an unhealthy diet, but I wouldn't say that I have the healthiest diet. I've never had energy drinks because, as I said, being a diabetic, the energy drink contains at least 13 teaspoons of sugar. Not very often, to be honest. When I can't be asked to go home and make something, I'll order a takeaway or something. Or if I'm coming into college and I have some time, I'll get off the bus in Pemparkey and walk up and get a breakfast at McDonald's or something. I don't really very often, but I do drink energy drinks. So. I suppose they're all right, but... Um... You know, there's a lot of negative effects. Easy to eat, they're just really unhealthy, but they're obviously the quickest and fastest option, so people tend to go for them. No, they're not good for you at all. It's, it's, it's pretty proven, isn't it, that you know, fast food is generally bad for you. <laughs> um, I don't actually do that much. I tend to just walk up and down from uni, so not that much. I don't really count. I do, I do skate around a lot, I bike around a lot, I walk everywhere. I, I don't drive yet, hopefully I'll be able to drive soon. That'll probably make my exercise go down a bit, but... <laughs> I, I do more exercise in the summer. During the winter times, it's not, like, maybe like a couple of times a week. Yeah. I don't agree with that because uh, I just find it's a bit ridiculous that the government is trying to charge extra for, um, you know, everybody's going to eat something. I'm on both sides, like it can, it can help, it does stop people from eating sugary things as much, but in the end, it's not gonna stop people eating, it's just gonna deter them, it's just an extra charge for people. That generally in the UK, a lot of younger children and adults tend to eat a lot of sugar, but you don't tend to know there's a lot of sugar in things, so I think it's a good thing. I would say yes. And how? Because like people are more like inside than, than doing stuff outside. Like everyone's on their computer or playing games, then eating stuff. So there's like binge watch at home. I do think that they are responsible for the health and well-being of their children and the diet. Um, and also, I think it's very easy, and I think parents can be a little bit lazy sometimes and not cook properly for their children at a young age, and that sort of develops into their diet. So by the time they're teenagers, and they are eating more junk food. Yes, because they are the ones that feed their children. Like, a four-year-old isn't going to know to go cook for themselves something healthy. It's what their parents are eating. Um, is the reason that I eat unhealthy, because I'm 17 and I should know better. But when, it, when you're a younger child, the parents are responsible for what they're what you, what you eat because you don't really have a say in what you get bought from the shop or what you get cooked up, you just kind of eat it. To educate their kids to eat the right things, to try to encourage them not to want fast food all the time, and it's not easy. I think possibly the government are educating us too much, it might be quite nice for us to be able to find things out for ourselves. You see Jamie Oliver on the TV all the time talking about how a balanced diet is Really important. A lot of people just tend to eat what they like and eat what's easy rather than eating what's best for them so they have like higher heart, um, higher cholesterol so more chance of heart problems. I don't think there should be like classes or anything, uh, just just more like advertisements around the place, like billboards maybe showing you what is healthy and what is unhealthy. I mean advertisement has got us into this ditch we're in at the moment so it can probably, it probably has the power to get us out of it. 